Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. Well, I got a little special one for you today. We got a little treasure trove of stuff, which is, some of it's been hiding for quite a few years. Some of it, some people might recognize, but you might not. So I um, suppose I should really um, turn the camera around so you guys can actually see what I'm looking at. Because there's some interesting things here. But the, the guy that's got it, uh, he's got some other stuff lurking around in other places as well. And uh, fingers crossed, some of this lot's gonna come to the channel and you're gonna see some of it get built at the same time. So uh, yeah, I suppose let's turn the camera around and show you guys what I like. Right then guys, as you walk in the door, you can now start to see what I mean. It's, yeah, bits of stuff here, there and everywhere. There's stuff hiding, there's more stuff I've said, as from Lorena's place. But the first thing you see as you walk in, good old yank truck. So, uh, but yeah, we'll walk around quickly a little bit and then I'll grab Sam and Sam can explain a little bit more about stuff. But yeah, as I said, Sam's got a bit of addiction to um, buying stuff. He's not a hoarder, he just loves buying stuff and he likes to rescue stuff. But you got things like original Polo GTI, more caddies, another caddy, big dirty great trucks and um, yeah, more stuff hiding over there. So I suppose it's a better chance, so I'd better go and grab Sam and kind of explain more of what he's got lurking around, because I ain't got a sodding clue, and I'm useless. So, yeah, let's grab Sam. So, everybody, there's Sam. Sam's a bit um, shy of the camera, he's never been on one before, so just, just bear with him, if he gets a bit tongue-tied. Same as what I do, I do it all the time, so nothing to worry about. So, uh, do you want to uh, talk about your lovely little yank truck here? How long have you had this thing for, mate? Uh, bought it in the country in 28... No, 2016 I bought this one in the country. So what, you actually brought it in yourself? Yeah, shipped it over. Hard process? Uh, got family in the States, so we found it out there and brought it back that Makes way. life easier, doesn't it? Um, it's changed little bits, like different wheels and that, but other than that, it is original. Yeah, nice. Believe it or not, it does get used and go to shows. It was at a show... What, 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 it gets used. What's that in the back of there? Uh, uh, <laughs> as, as we all do, workshop, if you've got a bit of space, you put something in it. Yeah, it's eight foot beds, and as I well use it. So you, you said that came from Oregon or something, didn't you? Yeah, Oregon that came in from. Nice. So, pretty rust free, if I'm honest. So, yeah. But Sam was just telling me a minute ago that when he brought it in the country, there was hardly any of those around over here. But as we all know now, if you into your American Yanks and stuff, you find quite a few over here now, unfortunately. Yeah. But, here's what it is. Yeah, 6.4 litre V8 rear wheel drive. Nice. Yeah, likes to drink. Well, it's a Yank, what more do you expect? It does like to drink. Yeah, that's, that's all part of it, isn't it? Yeah. So, um, what's your addiction with caddies then, mate? I brought one years ago, I've had a few over the time sort of set up and I've just always I don't know, it's just something different. It's when you're driving on the road, they're just fun. And well, they're go karts, aren't they? Yeah, uh, I think a bit of what is the oddest thing about it is I don't know, like all the ones I've got sort of set up were never ones you'd see go back on the road. And I'd just like to see them go, this one might not go back on the road, unfortunately. I was going to say, this one might be. Um... Yeah, this A little is... bit more removed than you really need at the moment. Yeah, but I'm hoping this one's going to save the other two. So... Yeah, exactly. As you just mentioned about the other two, do you want to uh, move on to the other two? I So, let's uh, start with that one up there. Where the hell did that come from, mate? Because I've heard the story of this one. This is hilarious. I kind of brought... I was online and I brought some parts it was really um i think you got more than just parts yeah i saw <laughs> i can't i think it was a bonnet i was after a black one a few other little bits and uh it was like fuel tank um uh engine that uh, was on stand there um some front suspension department stuff like that really yeah yeah um so all bits and that and well, I just phoned up one of your mates and said, You go grab it with your van. You turned up to the bloke's house to go get it with a van. And the bloke turned around and said, Where's your trailer, mate? <laughs> <laughs> just like that. And he said, What? He said, Where's your trailer? He goes, Because that is got to go on the back. And I'll give you an idea, that was in a hedge. Yeah, I'll put the picture up the top at the moment because Sam showed me the picture and that's, um, yeah. Yeah, yeah that's definitely, uh, 
yeah. come out of a hedge. Sat on top of the trailer, <laughs> and it sat on top of a pallet, and it was sort of a bit like, okay, well, mate, so I can't pick it up. So I went back and picked it. It come out of Wolverhampton, but where I picked it up from, a ball. Probably 50 metres from there was a pig farm. It came off of where it had been all its life. So, um, why is it not rotten? It's rotten in the back end, in the floor. Yeah, but, but why that's... is it not totally rotten if it's been on a pig farm? Yeah, that's the bit I can't work out. It's... No, it doesn't, doesn't make any sense whatsoever. It's been used and abused. It's never a history of it being on the road. It's been off the road that long. Um... Someone must recognise it somewhere or another in life. Yeah, because it's a bit odd, like, having the twin headlights in it, yeah. like the GTI grill. Yeah, so someone is someone somewhere or another is going to recognise that. Yeah. But they ain't going to, because the number plate's covered. And yeah. you, you lot in here aren't going to see it. Hmm. It's, uh, secrets. <laughs> <laughs> it's finished. Yeah, as soon as it's finished, you guys will see it. Because hmm. I think we're fine. That one's going to end up getting built quite well, don't we? Yeah, that's going to get attacked pretty soon. Yeah. But, yeah, if we wander around and, uh show you how bad it isn't, which is quite interesting. The, um, the sills, well, that's metal. And it's metal all the way along. Yeah, it's a little bit of surface rust here and there, but how many people could say that that isn't rotten? Yeah, we need a floor pan, but not with our arm. Anybody want a seat? Can you just put the seat right there, say that, let's move the seat up and down. Oh, good fun. But yeah, as you like, literally walk around this thing, rear quarters. Even though they've got dents and stuff in them, they're still solid. So, as you can see, this one is well and truly worth fixing. And uh, I think Sam's going to play with sticking it on his arse as well. This little axle. Nah, it's the wrong side of leaf springs. We all know my game. Everything's got to be on its arse. Well, I say everything. Not everything, but recently has. But, yeah, that thing's uh, quite a nice little um, find. As we all know, Mark 1 caddies are... Uh, quite hard to actually find these days. Yeah. Um, especially, especially when they're um, not totally and utterly rotten. Yeah. I know a lot of people on here are going to be saying, fuck me, that's rotten as hell. Hmm. But it really isn't. It's not, it's not compared if, to... If you want to see rotten, you go that way. That's, <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's definitely Fred Prince himself, reveal. No, four pounds are good on that one, believe it or not. Just are the they? rest of it's gone, yeah. Are they? Really? Oh yeah, so they are. Yeah, funny that. I, that's my fault for um, not looking properly, isn't it? Mm. So, but that's those two. But I think Sam said something about that one might be the first one we actually see, you actually start getting work on, isn't it? Yeah. Because he's got loads of panels and stuff which uh, sat over there for it and bits and bobs. But uh, what engine's going in it, mate? I'll probably just stick the original 16s diesel back in it. Yeah. Be a uh, shame to take that away. Low mileage one. I think that's only got about 80, 90,000 miles on it from fact, from well, from no sort of stuff. Round the pig farm? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the gearbox might not have third or fourth or anything else left in it. It's, 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 never, it's never been used. <laughs> but yeah. Uh, probably get the original one, just go back into it. Yeah. Um, that one, the core plug, I wish I took pictures of it, but the core plug had actually been fiberglassed. And it hadn't been repaired. Pardon? Been fiber glass. Fiberglass? Yeah, the core plug was fiberglass over the back. So That's definitely come up for a farm, isn't it? Yeah. Good old uh, farmer bodge. Yeah, well, there's the engine now that came out with it. Yeah. It's not that bad. Well, half the engine. Yeah, that's... Still got fresh oil in there, by the looks of it. Or reasonably fresh. Yeah. Um, Apparently it was running before we moved, but I was buying it before the actual diesel pump, really. Yeah. A few things, so. Yeah. So, uh, there's that one. Hmm. But I don't know if anybody's actually realised a minute ago, there's another one hiding somewhere in there. Yeah. Right there. So, let's uh, see if we can get a camera pointing somewhere at it around Sam's amalgamation of parts. Yeah. Past the prep load. Yeah, I'm, I could say something else, <laughs> but I'm not going to be rude because, trust me, I'd be exactly the same. <laughs> so, uh, um, hiding them, keep them hidden. Yeah, keeping them out of people's sight. Yeah. But now he's decided he's going to put them on YouTube. So yeah. they're not really going to be out of people's sight now, are they, mate? I want to see them done and yeah. being used, really. Well, that's, that's, that's half of the purpose, isn't it, of, yeah. of doing this, is to see them go back on the road. Mm. and actually see them done, isn't it, and stuff. Yeah, uh, somebody's been hidden in barns and sheds for 
But I, as I said right at the beginning, this isn't Sam's only shed. He's got stuff hiding him. But I'm not going to give anybody that, that idea of what's lurking around somewhere else at the moment. Mm. We can keep that for another time, mate. Yeah, it's definitely yeah. Um, different. <laughs> See that quite American German. Yeah, there's a bit Japanese. of everything everywhere, and it's like cars with engines that shouldn't have engine, those engines in it yeah. and stuff like that. But I'm getting carried away. Let me get back onto that thing over there. So, tucked over here is a very, very um, slammed Kazi. I don't know where it's slammed because the stuff is in the back of it. Oh, it's slammed. Or it's slammed properly. Yeah. It's so... Axle. Yeah. Like, that needs. Yeah. Yeah. So, uh, what's, what's been going on with that one, Sam? Oh, I've had that. Oh, Jesus. I brought it out of Taunton. Uh, Jesus, how many years ago did I buy that one? I'd done a prom with it back in... 2015 I've done a prom with it so I've had it that long it's never been pristine it's always been a rough well I think you've it's a driver a truck. it's been a driver yeah you've enjoyed it yeah I've enjoyed yeah. it it's, that's, that's uh, all that matters as long as you've enjoyed something yeah it's sort of when you start looking at it it was sort of like an old build it's sort of done because it's got the GTI um, leather seats in it out the rabbit one six diesel in it, but that one's got the five speed box in it. All right. So yeah, it's a bit hard to find fifth, but it has got fifth. Stir it round a bit. Oh, it's a bit more stir it round. It's oh, it's, it's, it's gone past that, that now, is it? Ah, yeah, yeah, I get you. Yeah, I put new rods on it, and it didn't actually make much difference. Um, she sat on coilovers. Um, underneath, it's actually quite nice. Yeah. Um, just the top of it and stuff to let it yeah, go. Yeah, it still don't look bad. Yeah. Um, I've got pictures of that of me um, big quad bike sat in the back of it. Oh, bloody awesome. So, when it used to look nice. Yeah. Um, so what's your plan for that one then? I will get that back out, get it back on the road. I would like, I've always thought about doing it white with red. Oh yeah. Um, really pick up the colours of it. Mm. Um, we've got wheels sat hidden away for it. Um, that doesn't surprise me, you've got stuff hidden away for it. So. Yeah, we've got wheels for the red one, wheels for this one. Yeah. Um, yeah, my missus loves Volkswagen stuff, so we've got plenty of wheels hidden around. More, well, join my club. Yeah, so... As all the guys watching this know, I'm, like, I'm a VW mm. addict, and I need to go to some sort of club to kind of kick the addiction, I suppose I should say. Yeah. But I can't, because I go away from it, mm. and then a couple of years later, I'm back doing it again. Yeah, I don't think there's a, uh, which word is, a cure for it. No, it's just, it's just when you're buying bread in a box, I think. Yeah. So that's the only cure for it. Yeah, you say your toys, um, boys don't grow up, the toys get bigger. Well, mm. they don't lie about that. No, they definitely don't. No. And, like, yeah, your toy box, you have your toy box for the cars. Yeah, your toy box turns to a shed. And yep. When you outgrow that shed, you want to get in a second shed. That's exactly more it, isn't it? <laughs> <Yeah. more. laughs> that's exactly it. And you just get more and more. So, what should we move on to next, mate? I'm not worried. Should we go and move on to something which people are going to have an argument with us that it isn't what it is? Uh, can do. I do know this is because I've had arguments and that. It's me, um, Mrs. Well, one of the little cars she's got hidden away. They're not hidden away. I've only moved out recently out of the other shed because I had to try and move. Well, all I say is it's another yank. I had to try and move. Uh, and this was sat next to it and this was easier than a yank to move. Yeah. And this thing's cool as hell. Yeah, it's um, definitely a little thing on... Well, well it's, it's just... A, cart. Yeah, but it's just a polo, mate. It's um, a genuine... No, it's just a polo. It, it, no, it's, no, it's just it's, it's just a polo. That's, no, uh, that's uh, just badges, that's nothing. No, it's a genuine GTI. No, I'm on a wind-up, guys. That is actually a genuine GTI. And you go and try one, find one anywhere that someone hasn't broken. Because they went for a habit of everybody used to buy them and break them because they're worth a small fortune just for what's under the bloody bonnet of it yeah i never got it personally no but i'd rather see a car in one piece but people did it and i know someone that that's all they did for about three years they made bloody good money out of it mm. and he needed a good slap in the process but that's a different matter he made his money out of it yeah just was. means that something like that sat there is even rarer than what it should be yeah they, so. um what you call it i don't think they would be worth loads but over the last year two years they have gone up in value that's because there's bugger all left of them mate yeah like genuine ones. ones there's plenty of ones that have been made to look like one yeah but you open a bonnet and uh, there's something missing yeah 
it's sort of like yeah you get the one fours and stuff like that um so, so what's uh, that what's that on coilovers i'll take it yeah it's on coilovers pretty much as low as i would go yeah there's uh, only one set of coilovers mate it's there's one there's nice one drive. there's one setting it goes floor it does go floor but it's sort of put bits of steel in there i think it would be um yeah be more comfortable yeah so just take the spring out just weld the shock like together well to give idea how actually this it was they're not the same engine mounts they have ripped engine mounts this one out as mm. you can see the last one rains where one <laughs> came up and almost mm. had the yeah, there we go, guys. Yeah. yeah, that could have been um, expensive. Yeah, it's definitely a little go-kart on it's, it's, it's almost like my T4. My sump's, um, well, uh, let's say, uh, less than an inch off the ground. Yeah, well, I don't know. We don't look at this one, really. No, I, I, I only know that because I took my sump clean out. Yeah. And that was on just a normal bit of cambered road. Mm. And it's a single track road, just a bit of camber in the middle of it. Yeah. And the sump hit the middle of that bit and took it out. I'm yeah. Like, okay. But it is what it is. That's part of the lowered life. Yeah. You don't uh, build them to be comfortable, do we? No. It's not your daily drivers, for certain. So how long has Lou had that one for then? Oh, I think she's had it four years. I think she's had it. Yeah. So, could be longer. I could be completely wrong. Um, so, so she knows everything you need to know about the things. Mm. And there's, going to, and there's going to be someone watching this video that recognises the vehicle. Yeah. You can guarantee it, can you? Yeah, there's not stuff like these don't say. No. Like the pickup will probably get recognised from here and there, so it's set up. Well, the pickup's been to quite a few shows, hasn't it? So. It does go around. Um, it's given as as much as people will probably have an argument with it, it never gets used. Yeah, it did go to um, Rock and Rib, and it was actually as you went through the gates. I, I, re I reckon what, what I need is to get Sam send me that picture just for proof. Yeah. Because otherwise someone's going to go, no, they didn't. Yeah, no, it was, um, was it Rock and Rib? <laughs> um, went through the gates, it was there. It was like, on entry. So it's one of the first ones you saw. Yeah, that's one of the shows I never get to go to because I've not got no yank. So. No. If I, had a, if I had a yank, I'd be there as well, but yeah. it's one of those ones I haven't, so. No, it's unfortunately, it's, it's sometimes you get too many. Mm. So. Well, I'm not going to elaborate any more on that, but I do need a yank in my life. Yeah. But that's... Um, that's something for another later project some other time when I've managed to squibble some money away from somewhere to do that. Mm. And then you guys might actually see me with a yank on it, but time will tell. Mm. So, uh, yeah, there's another little thing. So, uh, I suppose we should really move on to the big monster that's up there in the, on the other lift, I suppose. Can do, big Ilex. Yeah. All right, so, as we just said, let's move on to this thing that's been set up here, um, looking a bit sorry for itself at the moment. Sorry. So, uh, what we got up there, mate? I know it's a Hilux, which is one of the best 4x4s around. It's an early Mark III. Um, I've got a Mark IV as well, buried back there, which is mega mileage. Yeah, back over um, in that corner over there. Yeah, that's, um, that's the T, that's the T4, the turbo diesel one, what everybody talks about. That's the 24 diesel. Isn't, isn't that the one that the Top Gear tried to kill? That's what Top Gear tried to kill. Oh, it's that so one that Top Gear tried to kill, yeah. Then they turn again. Dropped off of this, that, and everything else, and done everything, and the thing still bloody runs, doesn't it? Yeah, yeah the non turbos are bulletproof, but they're the same ones. That's on 260 odd thousand. Yeah. The chassis let go on it, unfortunately, and I used to use it on the road. Yeah, but ain't that Navarro that the chassis lets go on? Yeah, but that's 1997, <laughs> that one. What, you mean not like a 2006 on Navarro that no, snapped him? quite yeah. old. Yeah. Um, it used to uh, carry sand all its life, so it's... It's had a hard life, though. That one did. So what you got done to that one, here? apart from it looks like it's jacked up a mile? That one there, I've... I always had a... I always wanted single cab pickup um, as a kid. Um, I used to see them all, I saw them on Top Gear get done and I just saw the Toyota Hiluxes go through the roof on price and I went through the L200 stages. Um, I, think, I think we've all been there at some point or another. Yeah and of course then I wanted to go to the Hilux, this one came up and it had been just, well, I dragged it out of a garden just forgot about. There's a, there's a pattern that's creeping along here, mate. You seem to find these things and drag them out of places they shouldn't be. Yeah, I get a lot of my cars <laughs> that way. Um, I can't go and afford to buy. I know probably a lot of people look at this and go, mate, you've got loads and loads and loads of money sat there. Now, I've, everything I've got, I've brought 
cheap sort of yeah. setup. I've brought with serious problems and I'm in the trade that I can keep them going and Yeah, um, exactly. So of course I've always found like this one here I hadn't run for years before I brought it. Um I can't if I'm honest I can't remember what I paid for it, but it was sort of like under five hundred pounds sort of setup. Cheapest chips. Are. So yeah, it was bulk absolutely standard. I mean original steel rims um, like a little time capsule set yeah. there and yeah I got it I always wanted a lifted one and of course this was the leaf spring so it was the most easiest one to lift oh yeah it's not hard is it yeah I went from a medium lift um, I went from like a couple of inches sort of set up to then going like oh fancy four inch on just suspension yeah and then of course after that it was sort of I went I went down to a show um, well, BHP um, it went down in 2018, I think it was. Yeah. It's still in the windscreen. I was going to say, yeah, you know that because he climbed up there a minute ago and looked at the windscreen. <laughs> I, 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 um, I, I would go out there and show it if I could be bothered, but even I can't be bothered to climb up there and look at. No, it will come down. It will come down in one of the videos and that. So I would want to move them around the ramp, to be honest. Mm. Um, but you got uh, some dirty great monster tyres still, right? Well, they wore on it. They used to run around on the truck. The truck did drive around, so I used to use it a bit. Um, used to have a tub on the back of it. Um, yeah, you, you told me an interesting story about that earlier. Yeah, I, <laughs> yeah, I let some mates. Uh, well, of course, you can see I've got stuff everywhere sort of set up, and I was running out of a bit of time to get some stuff, and this is what... That was sort of the last I'd done playing around with it, because I've brought stuff recently, but... No, that was sort of like the last one I had actual fun with. Mm. And it was, yeah, I let me mates do some work on it. And then I got a phone call one night of somebody else saying, God, I didn't raise you buying more trucks. I said, why is that? And he said, well, your truck's parked outside. Um, gave me an address. I uh, went down there and my truck's parked outside. Um, keys were in it, everything out. I tried phoning the people where it was. No answers, nothing. Um, I went down with a little truck at the time. I'm not going to say what truck because I was not correct doing it. But I um, picked up um, and moved it. Yeah, it's not. It's not in here whatsoever, is it? No, it's not this. <laughs> <laughs> um, and, yeah, the bigger one was out, so I couldn't use that. Um, yeah, I brought it back. Uh, when I went back to go put the tub up, what was laid literally next to it, the tub had gone, and it was a rust-free. Mark three Hilux tub. Yeah, so now unfortunately it's, it's um it's uh got nothing back there anymore. And I brought it back, um I picked it up from there, I took it back and put it in well where my other places the vehicles are stored. I left it outside and the brambles started taking over it and let's say when the brambles come over the top of that, it's not like a little bramble bush. No. That um, bramble bush must have been growing for quite a while, mate. Uh, I forgot how long, if I'm honest. <laughs> uh, I dragged it out and I said, what I've got to get on with it. I brought it down here. This is my toy shed down here, if I'm honest. And I brought it down here, put it in on the ramp, uh, started repairing the back of the chassis. And then I was chatting to Deck sometime and he started talking about what stuff I had. Mm. I think he was surprised of... Yeah, it was kind of one of those ones of... It started with just like the basic stuff and you're thinking, yeah, yeah. Then the list started growing and growing and growing and you're thinking, that's rare as shit and that's rare as shit. And then it's like more and more and more. And hence, this is why we've now come to this part of it now where I had to come around here and film some of the stuff. And I said, some of the other stuff on there is hiding and it's going to stay hiding until we decide to do something yeah. good on the channel. But it's also going to bring content for you guys because I'm going to film some of the work being done and stuff. And show you the projects as they progress on and it'd be nice to see some of these back on the road again yeah i've got some and, I, and I think sam said something about it. some of them will get sold at some point i'd like a majority of them being sold there's a few what i'd like to hold on to for certain reasons yeah because how long I've had some, yeah we've all got them but there's some vehicles what's been sat in the same spot for 10 years plus mm. so yeah like a lot of the stuff in here has not been sat long at all um, the ones in the back row have probably been sat the longest, but... Yeah, the ones that we're just going to have to talk of what's there and just kind of... Yeah. Knock, I'm not... I, I can say for now, I'm going to apologise to you lot now, but there's not a chance I'm climbing back there. 
It's, but it's one of those ones we can tell you what's back there and eventually, I'm no doubt or sometime or another, you'll see them actually on a video somewhere. But yeah, they'll come out. Yeah, it's just one of those ones that that's how it is. So uh, let's uh, move on to something else now, shall we? But actually, before I, uh, we move on to some other stuff and talking about stuff down there, there's one bit Sam mentioned about on that, which totally and utterly went through my head and kind of wherever it went into, um, yeah, the emptiness that's in there. I forgot to phone bring it up. So um, he says something about the engine, mate. Yeah, it's a two four non turbo um, originally, and of course you can guess with those tyres on that suspension lift, it's got a higher ratio of diff in the back. Um, when I built it, I built it as a toy and everything like that, and it will do ninety plus down the motor way if you want to, and it definitely gets a few people. Ninety plus. Yeah, it used to, I say, it's still got the two... Was, it, that, was that when you had some dirty great balls, mate? No, no, it would do it happily and sit there... What, like really comfortably and happily? Yeah, yeah oh, okay. it's... Um, I'll give you that one. Yeah, she's a five-speed box, of course, most Hiluxes are, but she's 2.4 diesel, pumps tweaked up. Yeah. But it is turboed as well. It's yeah. got a three-litre Invincible sat on top of it. So oh! Three-litre Invincible turbo sat in there. Yeah. And, there um, and how much smoke comes out of it? Well, the exhaust was last of when it was underneath the thing, and the trouble is you lost track of the smoke, so the back tyres were doing the smoke. Ah. Uh -huh. So, yeah, it's um, definitely... A bit of fun. Yeah, it's something that you look and go, yeah, that's big, sluggish, noisy, and... Yeah, because I know all the ones I've driven are slow as... Yeah, that one definitely, definitely has some fun. I've, um... I wouldn't say I've had trouble with it, but it's, yeah, definitely winds the people up when you go past and something like that. Yeah, I bet it does. Yeah. So, um, now we've got through that part, let's mm -hmm. move on to the other stuff that I was meant to move on to a minute ago, but I kind of yeah, forgot. So, um, as I said, guys, I ain't climbing over all of that lot at the moment. It'll come out on another video at some point. But let's um, start with the caddy, or half of a caddy and... What have you been up to with there, mate? Uh, it's a caddy van, originally started SDI. It's got sat in there, all wired up. Uh, PD-130, what's been remapped. Uh, the last we had running it was apparently 180 brake. Um, so, of course, that one. Uh, but what the whole front ends off of it is I've got a V2, I think it is, Toran. Front end, I think it's glass yeah. on it. The facelift Toran. Yeah. It's got on the front of it, and we've done that. But... Whilst I got it all running, got it all driving, no, not driving, but running and moving, mm. everything like that, and I sort of thought about doing something else with it, and it kind of stopped that way for a little yeah. while. That's cool. Um, of course, moved on with some other stuff, and that's it, it's been parked up back there. Mm. Um, but there are maybe ideas about putting a 1 8 quattro underneath of it. Ah, that'd be an interesting one for another time, though. So, yeah, it's um, talking about the vehicle sat there ready to do it. Yeah. It's actually sat behind it, believe it or not. Is a, yeah, so, some, somewhere back in uh, the Dell's back. Yeah, you can't yeah. see it. It's a um, 225 um, Audi TT. Yeah. So what else you got lurking back there, apart from the, the Hilux we've already talked about? Uh, the Mark IV sat there, of course. Yeah. We've got the behind the canopy. What is a canopy that goes on the back of the Ford occasionally. Yeah, you can just about see something right yeah, about it's there. Black. It's um, an Audi A4 B7 3 litre Quattro Estate manual. Nice. So, yeah, definitely a lot of fun. Yeah. Uh, I think their factory that one was with 205, 208 brake from factory. So, it's definitely a lot of fun. Um, yeah, it yeah. gets up and goes. Being nice. a manual as well, you can hold the gears. Um, the only trouble, last time I played with it, I got told off, and just after that, the clutch started slipping, so oh. it got parked up for that reason. Yeah. Um, it saved you getting told off, mate. Yeah. <laughs> no, like that's that. the one. So it got parked up. Um, reason for that has got, you can guess with the vehicles, it's not an issue, so I've got other ones sat around. Yeah. So we just started using another one, park that one up. And get round to it at some point or another. Um, yeah, I've got sat on top of all the load of other stuff. I've got a set of uh, coil loaders for it. Um, it's got, a, I would say, a straight for exhaust, but it's not it's still running cap on the back, and it has got a DPF on it, and it is still running both you, of those. What? What? Yeah, it's unfortunate. It's what, what, both. what? Yeah, I had to. It's mm. quite loud. 
So, God's sake. Um, I want a back pressure as well, really. Yeah, it, do, it does help with that. Yeah, I wanted to keep it quite standard. Mm -hmm. um, that's sort all. Of it is sat on lower and spring, so it is sat really low yeah. um, at the moment. But on a 19 inch, I can't remember what wheel brands on it, but yeah, quite a big set. Yeah. It does get mistaken for the RS, the B7 RS, because it is the fat body. Oh, it's a fat body one, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, so it does get mistaken yeah. for being an RS, but of course it gets. 40 odds of a gallon now. Yeah, there's so, a slight difference to it, isn't it? Yeah. yeah, it doesn't sound as nice as a 4.2, but... Well, if you've got a smile on your enough. face when you're doing it, who cares, isn't it? Oh, it can... It doesn't say it doesn't fully keep up with them, but when the torque goes down, it still gets up and goes, and it lays the power down well And you can enough. probably smoke about it at the same time. Yeah, it's not too much smoke. <laughs> so, yeah, and over in the corner there, you got your, um... Uh, what? Just buried old. thing with tyres on it. Uh, it's just a little old 3 litre Nissan Cabster um, beaver tail thing. Yeah, bl bl bloody good flaming little trucks they are. Yeah, it's, um, I've had a few, oh, I don't know. Um, gear cable snapped on it a few years back. Um, I was just going to scrap it, but then I thought, it's oh, too handy sort of setup. I'll get something else and put something else in it. Mm. I thought I'd buy a set of gear cables. There's three sets on eBay. I brought all three. And not the most cheapest that people can gather, and none of them fitted. Yeah, while well, we're all about that, if any of you guys know of any different gear cables for anywhere, hmm. still, like hit me up and stuff. All my links are everything is in the description below. Um, perhaps like you guys can help us try and find out which gear cables they are, because unfortunately, we ain't even got them to match up anymore. No. So it's uh, it's going to be a quite an interesting one to work out which cables you need, otherwise you yeah. can quite easily get some made, but without any. Yeah, because it's a 3 litre of the dog leg gearbox, mm. and it is twin rear wheels, so it's quite an odd one. Yeah. Um, quite a little rare little truck. Yeah, so uh, if any of you guys can help mm. Sam out here with um, trying to find out which ones they are, yeah. much appreciated. So uh, I think we're probably getting to the end of what's lurking around here, aren't we? Apart from we've got bits like Cummins engines and... God knows how much other stuff lurk around all over this place, don't we, mate? Yeah, there's stuff everywhere. There's quad bikes. And yeah. Like that, so. There's more than plenty of stuff around here. Yeah. So, uh, hopefully, guys, you kind of liked a little bit of a difference of walking around and showing what Sam's got lurking around. Hmm. And quite a lot of this lot, you'll actually see coming through the channel, one way or another, being built or messing around with and things like that, having a bit of fun and stuff. And this guy over here, which is kind of like camera shy, yeah. I think you're all quite agree. He's actually done pretty well. Mm. He's picked up the camera being pointed around, not yeah. directly at him like I'm doing now, but mm. up until now, he's done pretty well. So if you think that, stick in the comment section, let me know what you think of him. Yeah. If you think he's an idiot, just tell him that as well. Yeah. It's just, right. None of us are bothered around here. We all like having a bit of a laugh and a bit yeah. of banter. I hide away in my sheds enough, yeah. so. Exactly. So uh, anyway, guys, I'm going to leave that one at that. So uh, stick some comments down below what you think is around the stuff, what you think is rare around here, um, and what else you should go and buy. Yeah, I've uh, got a big old American camper that's quite close to us, but that is not the nicest to look at, so we'll leave it sat where it is. Yeah, I think at some point or another I might have to show. Just, <laughs> no. so, just so they can see how, quite how bad it actually is. It's the only one in the country, and um, I didn't buy it by choice. Let's just say when I saw <laughs> it, I thought it was ugly, and I... I, 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 do, I do have to agree with that part though. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, I'm uh, just going to leave that one of that, guys. So um, until the next one, hit that like subscribe button. Um, well, that's if you like it. If you do, if you don't, then I ain't, I ain't worried. Come out. I ain't worried, but yeah. if they like it, they like it. If they yeah. don't, yeah. yeah no skin off my nose because I'm going to still carry on making content whether you like it or not. Yeah. It's as simple as that. But if you can, guys, hit that subscribe button. It goes a long way to help us out. And the more subs we get, the higher up the algorithms and stuff it gets, and then more content that gets made. But until the next one, guys, say thanks to Sam for letting us round here, and um, we'll see you soon, guys.